Now let's talk about the covariance matrix for a multivariate case. So we want to calculate the variance of beta hat, right? So what is the variance of beta hat? Since we just derive the formula for the uh, OLS beta hat, right? Or the uh, ordinary least square estimator, uh, then we can simply plug uh, the result uh, from uh, last slide, right? So beta hat is uh, equal to x prime x inverse x prime y. Okay, well, we just had that result in our last slide. Um, then what we're going to do is to replace y by x beta plus epsilon, leaving everything else intact. Right? We can do that. Okay. Y is equal to x beta plus epsilon, or the error term, right? Uh, from the structural model. Then what we're going to do, okay, we're going to use uh, the distributive law to get out x beta and epsilon. So x prime x inverse x prime multiply first by x beta, we get the first term. Then multiply by epsilon, we get the second term, right? And uh, if we continue for a variance of two separate terms, uh, if you have some background of basics in uh, statistics, uh, you will know that that variance should be equal to the variance of first term plus the variance of second term plus the covariance of these two terms. And it turns out uh, the variance of the first term is zero. Why? Because X is known, right? So it's, it's like fixed number. What is beta? Beta's parameter is a constant. So the variance of all these constant numbers supposed to be zero, right? Because they're constants. And then what is the variance of uh, the second term? Well, well, we take it out, right? What is covariance? Well, the covariance between these two terms turns out to be zero. Why? Because for constant terms, there's no uh, covariance, right? I mean, there are constant terms. The only thing that's going to give us a little bit headache is epsilon. So what is the covariance between epsilon and uh, other elements? For example, X matrix and beta. Again, zero based on uh, the third assumption, the most important assumption that I talked about, right? Zero conditional mean, that is epsilon, error term is not related to or has no correlation with X prime or the X matrix. Of course, it does not have any correlation with beta, right? So we continue from this term, since X from X inverse X prime is viewed as fixed, uh, then we're gonna take advantage of, uh, again, another property of calculating variance. So the only variable is epsilon. So it becomes x prime x inverse x prime multiplied by the variance of epsilon multiplied by x uh, x prime x inverse. And the variance of epsilon is a constant term. So we can pull to the very front and final result is uh, sigma square multiplied by identity matrix, okay? Then x prime x inverse. And that identity matrix, matrix has a dimension of what? K by K. Okay, K by K. And so this is a, another way to derive the variance covariance matrix of, of beta hat or the variance covariance matrix of the OLS estimator.